Hello there, my beautiful Capricorns, and welcome to your weekly tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. Capricorn, we are looking into this week of July 26th to August 1st. Please keep in mind that time is fluid and check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs out on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe. And if you are returning, Capricorn, welcome back. And thank you so very much for being here and for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of my beautiful Capricorns out there. Please do not forget to like this video. It really helps my channel grow. So Capricorn, we are getting a number for you this week to see what number is being highlighted for you by spirit. You may see this number on license plates, billboards, or phone numbers, wherever you see digits. So spirit for Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Let's see what's coming through for you. And you have card number four, I am stable. You bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock, and your hard work and perseverance are, make you a dependable friend, partner, and colleague. So definitely right up Capricorn's alley here with I am stable. You are a very stable sign. You are an earth sign nonetheless. And you also bring a very stable sense to all aspects of your life. As being a friend people can count on, a partner people can count on, as well as a co-worker. So let's see what the Moonology deck has for you here, Capricorn, for this week. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, Spirit, for Capricorn. Let's see what's coming through for you. And we have New Moon in Aquarius. Bring love into the situation. All right. So being more loving, compassionate, and open in an Aquarius energy you know, with bring love into this situation, it's definitely a indication of being peaceful, trying your best to stay stable, right? So let's see what major arcana is being highlighted for you this week as well. What energy of what major is coming through for you? My beautiful Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. If there has been some tension in any area of your life, Spirit wants you to bring more love into the experience or the situation opposed to fighting fire with fire so let's see capricorn and we have the ace of swords clarity of belief air sign energy all right so there is some sort of communication this week that is going to be extremely important for you to stay stable with. So you may be receiving some sort of communication at work where you may have to make peace with somebody or you may have to be somebody that is very rational and stable. In love, you may be somebody who brings a lot of clarity to your partner, you know, in terms of if there was a lot of drama in your love life with this new moon in Aquarius as well as this Ace of Swords, I feel like you and your person are going to find victory over this. I feel like you and your person are going to find some sort of clarity in this relationship and um, possibly the communication was off. And with this Ace of Swords, the communication gets better between the two of you. For others of you, you may be hearing from a, um, a boss or a friend so let's see what your astrology blueprint is here for my beautiful capricorns so underneath your number four is we have jupiter expansion travel luck beliefs and seeking jupiter is the ruler of sagittarius underneath this new moon in aquarius we have mars strength excitement passion impulse and competition <clears throat> yeah, so there definitely was some sort of tension in some area of your life here, Capricorn, where there's now going to be love put in. And on this Ace of Swords, we have communication disruption. 
Optical Illusion with Mercury Retrograde. Yeah, um, for a lot of you Capricorns, I feel like in any aspect of your life, whether it be love, whether it be with a friend or a family member or through work, I feel like there was a lot of miscommunications and a lot of misunderstandings that caused tension, that caused a sense of competition, that caused a sense of a little bit of impulse, maybe a little bit of anger. And I do feel like with Mercury Retrograde right underneath the Ace of Swords, this is beautiful. Clarity, better communication, being open, and really, you know, alleviating any tension that you have. So for a lot of you, you are definitely expanding with your person in love, being more stable for one another, bringing more love into the connection opposed to drama and really finding clarity, really understanding your person, your person really understanding you. Definitely a sense of better communication for you this week in all aspects. Um, possibly, you know, the communication at work could have been a little bit tense, you know. There could have been an energy of you or other people not really wanting to express too much because, you know, you didn't want anybody to either steal your ideas or take your um, ideas and run with them, right? Um, and for others of you with friends, you know, there could have been a little bit of tension between friends. And now things are getting better. So let's see what the tarot has and get more details. Basically, whatever area of your life was very tense in terms of expression and communication and understanding, it looks like that area of your life is getting much better. I feel like it could be work and love. So let's clarify this here for you, Capricorn. Clarifying Jupiter, we have the Nine of Cups, a beautiful sense of wish fulfillment, feeling lucky, feeling happy, feeling satisfied. On Mars, we have the Five of Swords. There's my miscommunication card. Definitely an energy of misunderstandings recently. Definitely an energy of feeling defeated, feeling like somebody doesn't care, or an energy of feeling, you know, like you want to give up. It's like, why can't we understand one another? Why is it so hard for us to get on the same page? And on Mercury Retrograde, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful. So this sense of clarity, this sense of better communication, this sense of being more open and communicating with this person is going to make you feel really good here with this Nine of Pentacles. We have two nines, an indication that the um, worst is over for this energy, where you two are not feeling, you know... Like, you have to watch your tongue with the other person, you know? Like, all right, well, I can't say this to them because they take it the wrong way, right? Communication disruption. So there's definitely a beautiful coming together with somebody where you two are just communicating a lot better than ever before. I feel like you've been really wanting this, Capricorn. And for others of you, I definitely do feel like there could have been some drama at work with a coworker or a boss. And I feel like you two are going to figure out some sort of energy of how to make things better, how to get through this, how to work together and be on the same page. So let's clarify this energy one more time here for you, my beautiful Capricorns. But this is very nice. After a sense of feeling very tense with someone, you two are finding the strength to prevail through this misunderstanding, miscommunication, or lack of good energy in the situation nine of cups seven of pentacles yeah you've been waiting for this connection to get better or you've been waiting for this um situation to get better five of swords here with the ace of cups yeah you two are not giving up on one another you two two still feel very loving towards one another. There is an extreme sense of love here. Ace of Cups right underneath. Bring love into the situation. You both realize, you know, like I I have feelings for you. I want to work on this. Or if this is with a colleague or a coworker or a friend, they still feel connected to you. They still feel like, you know, like don't let this take down what we have or what we built, you know, as a friendship. 
Nine of Pentacles here with Judgment. Beautiful. A second chance for this connection. A second chance for your workplace scenario to get better. Let's clarify this one more time here for my beautiful Capricorns. Because you've been really waiting for this relationship to get better. You've really been waiting for this friendship or their this workplace relationship to get better. I feel like this person has a lot of love for you. Let's see, we have the Seven of Pentacles here to the Hanged Man. Yeah, there's definitely a sense of feeling very delayed. Pisces energy with the Hanged Man. Um, Ace of Cups here with the Ten of Swords. Beautiful, the worst is over. Beautiful, the worst is over. And there has been a, a bit of drama. Or at least uh, a big sense of feeling misunderstood. And with Judgment, we have the Three of Swords, a second chance to make this connection better, a second chance for this connection to strive. Um, let's clarify that. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here with Judgment and the Three of Swords? Whatever this miscommunication was or whatever this di uh, um, disruption was or misunderstanding, it really caused somebody to feel very hurt. So let's see, Nine of Pentacles with the Judgment and the Three of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune, beautiful. A positive change from feeling hurt, misunderstood, unappreciated, miscommunicated. There is a beautiful, positive shift from this. Spirit is bringing it for you. So, um, the only major arcanas here specifically would be Pisces with the Hanged Man. Um, we do have Fixed Sign Energy with the Wheel of Fortune and Judgment, which would be Aquarius. We also have Aquarius here. Um, Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus. But there is an extreme sense that an argument, a tense situation, a miscommunication, a misunderstanding gets fixed this week. It definitely hurts somebody not feeling understood or not feeling cared for or something like that. But things are definitely getting beautifully better. So this is what I have here for you Capricorn. Thank you for being here and have a great week. Bye now.